Bolton gets it down nicely. Roved nearly by Christian Shaw. Oh, Cameron gave away a free kick for a hold. Pushed off Jamie Van Ingen. Pushed off power at half back for Bannockburn. Goes towards centre half forward. Allen on a long lead. Oh, good mark. Plucked it nicely and took it in front. Allen gets his hands on it and goes wide looking for Eddie. He gets his hands on it. So that's good signs for Bannockburn. Didn't have a touch in the first term. And he's got it 50 out from goal. Short little kick. He thought about, but he likes to hold it up now. Tyquin gives him a lead. Woods gave him a lead. Then he goes into the pocket and it's chopped off. So too long there. Robertson chopped it off. And looking to try and kick it across the face of goal. Danger because Woods comes at it. Primke stood his ground. Woods did very nicely. Watts deals, gives it back towards oh, Allen. He kicks it over wow. his head. Now past Vera as well. He can't pick it up. And he tries to tap it back to his own advantage. And also the advantage of Primke. He gets wrapped up. Handballs it over the top to Chalice. But sits for him. He's away. Great pick up. Under pressure from Brad Watts though. Then he loses the football. Brad Watts picks it up and gets away. Then he gets tackled and drops the football. Pretty tough at half forward for Bannockburn. Over the shoulder, said the umpire. Goes with the right foot kick, long towards goal. East with the numbers back there. Robertson gets back there. Lachlan as well. Handball from Ricky O'Toole again. Missed a target. Eddie keeps it in. Left foot kick across the face of goal. And oh, tapped on nicely too for yeah. East Geelong. Got right a push in the, the back, back too. Was, uh, was Vervas. Now over the top to Primke. Handball outboard. And they just set things up through Mawson. He gives it out wide. Coy takes the mark. Halfback flank on the outer side. Chips the ball back into Mawson who followed up. Still there. Still at half back. He goes towards centre half forward. Lead. Bowman again goes up. Can't take the mark. Dylan behind him. Rove by Chalice. Couldn't pick it up though. And uh, Taylor can break free and go back for Bannockburn towards half forward. Matt oh. Watts doesn't sit for him either. Matt Tyquin comes in. Fighting hard for it. East along with the numbers again across half back. Little clearing kick. Yeah, Ricky O'Toole's leg I reckon by the looks of it. Nope. East 4 one two and a half played second term. So ball in, half forward flank for Bannockburn. Allen, nice little tap down, not to advantage. Held without the footy. Goes back in and tries to get it. Ball uh, comes forward, attacking the footy. Hagger bowls. He's tackled down. Woods picks it up. Handball to uh, Dando. Dando, nice uh, move there from uh, Tyquin. Takes the mark just uh, toward the centre. There's the lead at uh, half forward. Numbers get back for East Geelong. Ball uh, in dispute. Stacks on the mill. Umpire will have to blow the whistle. He does. And uh, does just get there in time and gets a great tap forward. It's gone to Christian Shaw. He eludes one tackle. Gets the foot to the, uh, the ball. Picked up Matt Watts. Long handball. Gee, uh, picked up by Tyquin. Around the corner, it's a good looking kick, but uh, gee, uh, but uh, playing very, very close, and the umpire's a lot closer than, than we were. So uh, Aaron Eddy now, right on the boundary line, 45 metres from goal, and uh, will probably need to put a very good kick on the ball here. Moves in, very deliberate. Drops it pretty well. Gee, it's not a bad looking kick, but it's away to the right hand side. Does score. Tough from there, mate. They certainly are that. So it's his first behind, and that's... Uh... Goes to the outer side. Not much wrong with the 55 no, metre pass. No, no, Runs right. it away, but Bannockburn couldn't keep it in from the contest at half forward, so we'll have a boundary throw in. Jeez, you're going to have to start kicking goals, aren't you? I haven't seen this many behinds kick since the days we used to wag school. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, grubby. <laughs> Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Punch Ooh. away by Allen. 30 metre punch to Chamberlain. Vetter. And Vetter has got some time and he chips the ball to Primke. Somebody going to play on him or what? He's got 40 possessions already, I reckon, Primke. And Chalice is not far behind him at half back. He gives it away to Cameron. At half back, Frank Still draws a couple of players and then mucks it up. And then back towards Christian Shaw, Matt Watts, handball, out towards brother Brad at centre wing, can't pick it up, coming at him O'Toole, and handball from Dando towards Matt Watts, goes long towards the square, two on one, Eddie, in yeah. the middle, oh, couldn't it. take the mark, up against a couple more, pack develops, 10 metres out from the Bannockburn goal, now pop uh, ball up from the contest. Falls to the side of the pack. Kick off the ground by Nolan. Leads Tyquin in the race of the football and burns him off too and runs through half back and does well. But then he gets wrapped up by Brad Watts and drops the footy. And it's going to be a free kick. Just chips the ball. Oh, it's okay. Matt Tyquin was third in line <laughs> over the head of a couple and he stood there and took the mark. 
So not much Nolan could do. Primke was in front and fell over the top and he took the mark and will shoot for goal from 40 out slide angle. Distance shouldn't worry him. Wouldn't worry his father. <laughs> Spoken to me up early before today's game and he said you had the chop on the arms ruling when he was he either kicked twice as many. I said, mate, you kicked 5,000. How great did you want to be? So Matt Tyquin comes in. The rookie of the year. Right foot kick. That's a beautiful kick. Mm, fears so away. Rip, Hasn't quite made the distance. Punched into the square and punched through a second time for a rush behind. So they go to seven behinds, Bannockburn. They trail East Geelong 4 1 25. Buckley's Entertainment Centre second quarter scoreboard. Seven minutes played. The quick kick in for East Geelong. Has <coughs> got the ball to centre wing. Verbers can't quite uh, get hold of the footy. Got uh, Chalice in there to support. Handball comes back to Chamberlain. Has time. Steadies himself around the body towards centre wing. Mark dropped there by the big fellow in uh, Bolton. Gets a handball back to uh, Dylan O'Toole. Goes in board towards half forward. Bowman can't take the mark. Dylan on hand this time. Cameron dropped the footy. Play on said the umpire. Picked up there by that looked like Christian Shaw. And uh, now Roweth on the ground. Goes towards half forward for Bannockburn. Mark taken Padani. Where does he go? Goes looking for Eddie. It's a good no, it's fact it's Allen. Can't take the mark. First go. Ho roving the pack. Can't uh, hook it around. In fact, uh, doesn't even get a score. So it's out of bounds for a throw in adjacent to the behind. Put up defensively both sides. Allen gets a tap towards the back. Is uh, picked up. Eddie kicks it around the body. Doesn't score. Coming through. Uh, Ricky O'Toole can't pick the footy up. That was uh, Padani. Can he goes goalwards? It's touched on the uh, goal line. So Padani gets the eighth. Behind and a half minutes. Jason, if you wanted to know the inside 50s at quarter time, uh, I forgot to do it halfway through the quarter, so it was two all. Oh, well, thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Seeing as though they scored five behinds, I reckon, uh, uh, reckon Batty Ben might have got in five times. <laughs> Kick in, uh, going to Primke, who goes wide, looking for Bowman on centre wing. Handball over the top to nobody in particular. Robertson gets the clearing kick, but getting back there, Dando for Bannockburn. And he chips Whoa. the ball across half back and just okay to Taylor. Handballs it off to Kendall. Runs through centre half back. Goes towards the middle. But to East with the numbers. And Vervas right in the middle of the ground. Goes long looking for Bowman. But Dylan will chop it off and take the mark. That's Ross Dillon. Chips the ball to Brad Watts on centre wing by himself. And just settles play down. Now he plays on. Left foot kick along the line. Looking for brother Matt. Does well. They've done that in the back out a few times. He wheels around and goes on the right foot long towards the pocket. Allen comes out. Vetter against him. Oh, Mika plucks it. Takes the mark and will shoot for goal from 45 out. 45 degree angle. They're just getting them too far out grubby, aren't they? They're, they're just... The, the difficult shots are about uh, outside distance. Especially at that end of the ground yeah. that, against the wind. A, a couple of beautiful kicks with just the wind took it at the last minute. Allen comes in. Right foot kick. Giving it everything he's got. Goes towards the teeth of goal. They go up. Off hands. Still in the 10 metre square. Oh, good handball. Out to Padani. Kick the goal. And he has. So, Bannockburn get their first three. Eight to one by all means, but don't give up the advantage. So, we're in the underway. The handball goes to uh, Ricky O'Toole. He's now kicked it inside forward 50. Oh, Ross Dillon just uh, edged his opponent out. Two hands, fair square in the middle of the back. That's OK, said the umpire. He was close too, though. Yeah, he was. So the free kick, uh, there's, uh, well, Matt Tyquin just pulled by the jumper off the footy. No free kick there either. There there's another the one. Time. They've played the fourth one, I think. It's gone to Matty Watts. He was uh, thrown to the ground without the footy. Decides to go out wide. Out there is uh, Taylor. Taylor now goes towards half four. Oh, big fly there for East Geelong. Picked up Chamberlain. Straight up in the air. Luck is a fortune into the arms there of uh, Cameron, middle of the ground. Now Cameron, he's looking for someone to run past. Decides now, oh, gone for the Was barrel, that? and it's a shocker. <sighs> Lucas Murphy, real trouble there. That's got to be take a free mark. Kick. Now he's pushed face forward into the ground, so Murphy in the centre square, at centre half forward. If he has a go, there's no one in the goal square. Decides to chip it to the pass, and that's a lovely pass. Ricky O'Toole. Well, he's moving okay. Decides to go around. Has a shot from uh, inside fit. Oh, touched right on the line by Ross Dan. 1 8 14. Buckley's Entertainment Centre, second quarter scoreboard. 11 and a half minutes gone. Ricky O'Toole should have done, or Lucas Murphy should have done what Ricky O'Toole's done then because there was no one in the goal line when Lucas had it. Taylor kicked it in, found Alistair Woods, who found Pat Dillon. 
At 50, called to play on, kicks it down the line. Murphy in front. Oh, over the back, Reese Cameron hurt himself when he came down to. Kendall runs out of room. And it'll be a boundary throw in adjacent to our commentary position here between or on half forward flank, East Geelong into attack. Boundary throw in for Headley and Hagger Bowles. Punched away by Hagger Bowles. Cameron rides one bump, then dropped the footy. Christian Shaw in the middle, got one high. And we'll take the free kick on centre wing. He's got Dando. Oh, kick it to him. Too late now. Butch to kick it down the line. He was going lateral, then he sold some candy to Coy, but he, he picked it up very well. Didn't sell it very well at all. Now Chalice puts the, uh, the, the tackle on. The umpires will come in. All up, centre wing. 4-2 playing 1-8. East Geelong in the lead from the contest. Robertson ripped off at Harvey through the middle. Tried to handball it back. or oh, running into the middle of it was Headley. He dropped the football through the middle. Harvey. Oh, he was out. He was in the boundary. Ross Dando's looking a bit hot and bothered there in front of us at half back. Pretty warm day this afternoon. Battling it out. The ball goes towards Chalice in front of Brad Watts. Coming at him. Dando through the middle. Does well. Breaks free. Right foot tumbling punt. In front though. Taking the mark is Mawson for East Geelong. He's got um, Robertson and he chips it to him nicely. That's oh, a free kick. Yeah, no, you can't impede a bloke too far off the footy. I'll agree with that one. Free kick to Dylan. Yeah, I know. He is. Thanks, Fuge. Ball goes towards half forward. Roved by Mawson. Threw it away in the end. Padani through the middle. Matt Tyquin gives it away by hand to Woods. 50 out. Right foot kick to the square. Allen punched away by Vetter. Comes across towards Broman, who rides a bump. Gets in the right forward pocket. Handballs it back towards Wo oh. Watt, Matt Watts off a step, and he kicks the goal. And it quick enough to put the... These players are getting the footy, got no one to kick to. That's right. In the middle, comes to ground. Dylan O'Toole can't get clear, tries to tap it forward. Running onto the uh, footy was Popel. He went without it there. As, uh, well, it was interesting. Hagger Biles tried to shepherd, but uh, shepherd his own teammate. The ball's come loose towards centre wing. Padani, numbers uh, defeat him as it's picked up by Mawson for East Geelong. Has plenty of time, measures the kick. It's a good looking kick, but. Uh, Gee, Dillon's really tightened up at half-back. Handball came to shore. Goes towards centre wing. Knock, knock taken. Comes to ground. East at ground level. Through Robertson. Goes towards half-forward. So oh, Murphy up high over the pack at the back of the pack. Gee, Ross Dillon doesn't look to be... Uh... Now, that's a free kick against Shaw because he copped one in the mark and contest and cracked the you-know-whats and he decided to give one back and he's been caught, I think. Yeah, and it was more than five metres away from the ball. It was, it was. Whether you agree or not, if they're going to be consistent like that, I'm happy enough. Ryan Cooley certainly milked it for all it was worth by the same token. Well, he so, did. But and he's got the free kick. And uh, in normal circumstances, I would think outside his distance. But that little bit of bruise behind him, he decides he's not going to kick it, sees Murphy coming towards him. And that's a, a nice little pass. And when you get uh, half a metre break like Murphy did, it, did then, the fullback's job is uh, pretty difficult. And this is... Uh, Almost exactly the position we saw him uh, warming up from in the, before the game. Three out of three. Let's see when the pressure comes on what happens. Yeah, good call, Grubby. grubby. So uh, we're pretty much behind uh, Lucas Murphy's kick on this occasion. Taking his time. Lining it up. Umpire's just told him. A red up. Moves in. Left footer. It's a nice looking kick as it come back. I think it might have. Well, I'll tell you what, that's a goal. They, they have. Quarter. They have. And to give that away, no good. Back to the middle. Both Ruckman get a tap onto it. Falls to Butch Short. He gives it away by hand to Dylan. Pat off a step towards half forward. Running back Robertson. He's got good courage, this bloke. Oh, yeah. Doesn't mind backing back like that and taking the mark. And 50. Because Rowan Padani didn't come back when the umpire told him to. No, so. no I think it was, was Matty it? Watts was running uh, forward and bumped into him. OK, and, uh, so you just can't do that. So Robertson will bring the ball down to half forward. Hmm, good distance too. Or by a block of land off that umpire. Jeez. 60 out from goal now. He goes across the ground looking for Chamberlain. And he Gee. takes the mark. Ooh, be careful there. Hagger Bowles who came in. If he's OK, Chamberlain, this is well within his range. Yep, because he is a thumping kick. David Leach style from Werribee Central's Rob Chamberlain. He's 50 out from goal. Just kicked just outside the 50. Southern end of the ground. Comes in. Right foot kick. 
Missed it to the near side, through for one behind. Got the distance, easy. Yeah, easy. Second quarter scoreboard, 18 and a half minutes played. So Taylor now looks for uh, someone leading, not much movement, so kicks outside 50. Big uh, number over that side, comes to the front of the pack, Verbers. Nice little chip pass, really uh, off hands, nobody can uh, take control of the footy. Once again, they've uh, steadied in the last couple of minutes after uh, Bannockburn had all the play for uh, the best part of the... The first half of the quarter, come back of the pack to Dando, goes wide. Shaw diving forward, that's a good mark in front of uh, Chalice. Christian Shaw, half-back flank, goes along the boundary line. Gee, the wind's certainly holding that kick up. It's a big kick. Oh, Tyquin, front of the pack, great mark. So Bannockburn, they go forward with the uh, Tyquin kick towards half-forward. Back of the pack, nobody there for uh, either side, runs toward the boundary, and in fact... A crack at Christian Shaw a minute ago for, for that uh, free kick and everything, but I'm, I tell you now, he's playing a cracking game. Yes, he's, he's certainly doing that. Back of the pack, it's come to the man in question. Here he is again. Shaw hooks it around the body, inside forward, oh, 50. Oh, oh, great oh, mark. Be careful, Pricky. son. He just stood there and uh, took the mark. Ricky O'Toole in the middle, handball to Chalice, who's running. Chalice now towards half forward, Coy. Oh, you read that well. Takes the mark. He's got no one in front of him, can go goalwards. In fact, it decides to Great go kick. sideways to Bowman, takes the mark and just slots it through from the goal square. Great work, East Chelsea. He didn't blaze away. He saw what he had to do and done it. And that's experience. Some of the experience that these other kids will get. Back to the middle. Chalice kick was partly smothered. Rallis towards running off the wing, picks it up, kicks it towards a vacant half forward flank. Ball runs away from uh, Grieg. And also in front of him was Chamberlain. Handball it back. And I think East Geelong happy to see it over the line there. Board for Bannockburn on the outer side. Bolton and Hagabowles. Hagabowles with a big thump down is OK. To Grig off a step. Goes long. Allen goes up. And at the back, Broman takes the mark, does he? Yes, yeah, yeah, said the umpire. It. So Broman, who was third in line. Mark better and Michael Allen. He's going to so, give a 50. Give I, saw, 50. I thought it was and worth it. No, I don't. I don't because he, was, he took so long to blow his whistle that the East Geelong player then tackled him. If he had a blown his whistle straight away and then he thumped him into the ground, 50. But he took a long time to blow his whistle. I don't know. It's a mark yet. So Broman comes in on the goal line and kicks the goal. A quick reply. 23 minutes gone. Ball up. Bolton clearly tapped down for East Geelong on that occasion. Coming through from the... Uh, the side of the square, Bannockburn chip to uh, Matt, uh, Brad Watts. Brad Watts chip pass to uh, brother Matt, takes the mark. Still outside the 50-metre uh, arc, goes to, well, doesn't go towards goal, goes across the ground. Good defensive work there by Mawson. Coming through uh, to make a contest, the Bannockburn forwards need to keep it in there. Picked up by uh, Tyquin, goes towards full forward. Numbers there with East Geelong. Can they clear it? Yes, they can. As the ball comes out, finally to Vetter. He chips the pass, beautiful pass. Well, oh, Bolton, two hands, son, when you're going to take the mark. Not one hand, but he does recover, gets it to Chalice. He's immediately tackled. Umpire, I don't know what he was signaling. He put his foot he up there and he, he didn't said so. He got the kick away. He didn't blow okay, the whistle. Okay, yep, well done. So the ball finally comes out for Easton Nolan. He goes wider as uh, they go backwards now, East to Ricky O'Toole, who's ensconced in the, uh, the back line. Oh, there's a, a mark dropped there by East Geelong as uh, they don't take advantage, however, Bannockburn as Coy comes clear. Runs a fair way. There's a great smother by Alistair Woods. Great skill. He uh, gets the uh, the ball clear, chips it over the top. Reek, almost his first kick for the day. Handball to uh, Warple, going past, goes to full forward. Numbers back there with East Geelong. Dando, he's uh, in the forward half at the moment. Uh, picks the footy up, tries to get it clear, can't. Toward the there's a gallon. So uh, now there's 50 metres. Uh, so well, obviously know. Mick Allen wasn't very happy with it and possibly, possibly said something <laughs> because certainly the ball had gone and the umpire. Uh, well, he's, uh, Gee, that wasn't 50. That was 18. <laughs> yeah. So, so it was uh, Popel. He goes across the ground. Mark taken for East by uh, Nolan. Chalice, long kick towards half forward, over the head, uh, both of Dylan and uh, Bowman, but uh, good backing up for East Geelong, gets a handball back to Bowman, over the head of Murphy, can he come back, can it, uh, Murphy picks it up, round on the left foot, it's an ordinary looking kick, but he's done enough to get the goal. He kicks left foot. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> and it was a bad mistake, bad. Ball up, 
Headley gets it down. Running off the uh, wing was Coy. Handballs it out. Board to Robertson. Who runs free. Gets a shepherd from Harvey. Goes long to Murphy. Can't take the mark. That's Kendall better. put his uh, big fist in there. Brad Watts left it behind. Then gets the ball away to Taylor. Under pressure from Harvey. Kendall back to Brad Watts. Outside 50. Chips the ball towards centre wing. Woods. Ooh. And Brad Coy gets across there and takes the mark. Handballs it to Ricky O'Toole. He goes with the right foot and just gives it to brother Dylan. Who takes the mark. Gives it to Robertson. Oh, by himself. 70 out. Go long. Robertson draws Roweth, goes long towards the square. Oh, back, D Murphy double back. He oh, leaves oh, it behind, though. Harvey at the back. Handballs it to Reese Cameron. Turns around and kicks a goal. He's still on with too many numbers there. And Reese Cameron... Yeah, snuck away, and he's just that type of player. Geez, I like him. Very creative. So the tap down again by Bolton. He's still on winning now at the uh, centre ball ups. The ball comes towards half forward. Roweth... Turns on his right foot for Bannockburn, back towards centre wing. It's a high kick. Numbers there. Robertson again. Doesn't take the mark. Bowman. Broman, sorry. Gets a handball forward for Bannockburn. Ricky That's O'Toole. Too high there. Against That's you, Rick. a uh, free kick against Ricky O'Toole. Good call, Grubby. There's uh, players coming in. It's uh, Broman again, I think, at the bottom of that pack. In fact, it's Reek. So Reek now. Uh, does the chip pass. Looking for Matt Watts up high. Can't take the mark. Now... Why is he giving that? He had both arms in the air going for the mark. Oh, as the say. siren sounds, in fact, uh, it is half-time in the uh, first semi-final. 8-3-51, East Geelong. They lead Bannockburn.